Getting ready to jump in the center circle. Gillespie wins the tap. And it's over to David Stockton as we kick things off here. They are really excited in the rookie that they have after drafting him in the second round. Paul White inside finishes at the rim. You know what I love? Did you hear the energy from that the hustle bench right there? Getting excited for their guys. Trying to bring the energy after a tough loss to the Magic yesterday. Really impressed with the pace so far. These teams are looking to get up and down. You wouldn't be able to tell this is their fourth game since Wednesday. Terry knocks it down. Terry working, finds a cutting Stockton for two. It, it, yeah. Nice little cut right there. High IQ play for David Stockton, son of legend John Stockton. Incredible wingspan, which allows him to guard bigger defenders and slide his feet uh, with smaller ones. Gillespie slams it home. Good morning. Watch Gillespie right here. P picks the thing up off the floor. It just, just cradles that. You, you can't teach that wingspan. Love the way this kid plays for the stars. He's going to play within himself, set screens, hit open shots, and he's just going to make the correct play, the Cincinnati product. Stockton off the mark to start on the restart. Long three, no, but Scott cleans up another miss. Yeah, they had some tough injuries the other night with uh, Azubuki went down. It's a learning process for the coaches as, as much as the players are, so you know, everybody's seeing dividends from their time here in the G League. It's not gonna wow you with the eye test, but I, I tell you, he's got the basketball IQ in his genes. Oh, great pass on the other end, and there's the three for the Stars. No one stopping Scott, and he lays it in for two more. Good pace right here for the Stars. They're letting their defense dictate their offense, and they're bringing the energy. Off a couple of Buchanan misses. Nice rebound by Allen. Bay cuts and slams. Defense comes at a premium now. You know, a team like the Nets could use a versatile defender. And the one thing about Bay is he can guard all five positions. You see him with the with the nice little run out there. And now running the floor, he puts it in and the foul. Has a roster full of players that are coming back from their own significant injuries. Inside, Caver has it denied. And be ready to throw it down with authority. Inside, Miller, too strong. Romaro Gill cleans up the miss. No, but Gill fighting inside with a couple red jerseys. Hustle still pulled away. Boatwright, catch and shoot. It's good. Offensive rebound for Bay. Another block there for Gillespie. And the shot clock. It's good. Cowan kicks it back out. Ahmad Caver floats it in. Gillespie waits and lays it in. Ball high, keep it high and put it up on the glass. Very important for a young big man. Extra pass. Bay puts it in. Caver out to Boatwright. Can't nail it from the corner. Barrel in a sprint. Nobody picks him up. And it's, it's back to a 14-point game. Team threes in 99 career games at Colorado. Definitely going to be a point of emphasis for him over the next few weeks. Farrell fades and hits. So with the Texas Legends not playing this year, the G League had an opportunity to flex some players. This now 2 of 14 from 3. Forgive me, I may be dating myself with the He-Man reference. You got kids, go, go look up He-Man and you, you'll find out who he is. What the G League is doing is that, you know, these free throws outside of that under two minutes are going to uh, be one for two or one for three. Six to eight minutes off of every single game helps speed things up. I wouldn't be surprised if the NBA goes in and adopts it, seeing how it goes. Great job. Soft touch there from Gillespie. Couldn't get it. Gillespie crashes in for another rebound. Merrill in rhythm, puts it in. Why can't you advance the ball? You know, the guys don't necessarily need to go 94 feet after a timeout. So uh, that's, that's an excellent call right there in a, in a free throw situation. And you know, it's incredible for a guy like yourself, Ryan, that played in the G League. 
Where was it when you got out of college versus now where all but two NBA teams have G League affiliates? Uh, you know, guys weren't getting call-ups, but, you know, now you see the coaches are being utilized. The players get called up. Uh, you, you see a purpose there. Sam Merrill knocks down another another three, you know. So you look at the Salt Lake system with Coach Peavy. They're running the same sets that the Jazz are running. They're going to get to an NBA team and be in shape and be ready to go, okay? They're, they are, they're stepping in overly prepared. They have silenced any doubt as Graves nails his second three ball. Terry hangs and hits the tough runner. Favorite thing is on his Twitter account, his pinned tweet is, hey, nobody said it was going to be easy. He is grinding and trying to be the next in a long list of guys that can get to the next level. He's stocking banks in it. Oh, wow. Gillespie slips. How did Somehow he keeps it alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh! You cannon! Oh, ho, ho. What the love? Getting a little wild. Uh, what Gillespie, he's off the floor. It looks like a wide receiver. And whoa, whoa, hold on, off the scoop. Not with the left hand, you fella. Watch your head. I, I mean, Gillespie's on the floor. Oh, my. I mean, it, it, it looks like Rob Gronkowski down there uh, catching one from Brady. Oh, hold on. Many teams talk about creating energy in this environment. White out to Farrell. Knocks it down. <laughs> Quick math for Farrell, Terry inside, no, Gillespie taps it back in. They just string together some stops, you know, an abysmal first half on the offensive end, you're only down by 10 points, so. Nocton, who now has six turnovers, only had four in the first three games. Here's Gillespie, and he gets it to go. The same height, but he's undersized compared to Gillespie with his wingspan and strength. White gets around Gillespie and banks it in. Now for, for the hustle, they're, they're taking too long to get into their sets. There's a lot of thinking, and it, what that does is it allows the defense to load up. You see that box out? Convert. Hold on, you see that box out on Scott, David Stockton? He's a tough little guy, man. You know where it comes from. You either got it or you don't. Farrell after the miss, pokes it away from behind, blew it. Inside. He had to hustle. <laughs> now working around the screen, the floater. Oh, that almost touched the top of the building. Gonna have a long night with Yogi Ferrell coming off. Stockton works his way inside. Bank shot won't go, but Merrill cleans up the miss. The man in the background at the arena it makes you feel like that's really their transformation. What scouts are looking for is, hey, can these 18, 19 year olds play with this environment? Right on cue. First half, his offense wasn't there, but it's starting to come around. Bay's fadeaway, Ooh. good. Oh, Nerd-esque uh, for the future oh, oh, Okay, okay, Tyler, I didn't know you had that. Well, they gave up a 12-0 run in the first quarter. This is the closest they've been in a while. Stockton all alone takes care of it himself. Stockton trying to lead the charge back. The hustle down by as many as 16. Around the rim, won't go in. The second try, though, there for trip. Little guy loves the screen. I tell you, he don't look like much, but he's physical. Bay muscles it in, and the foul on the hustle. Caver crosses into the lane. No, but flying in. Here's Gillespie. Lefty so, hook drops in. This is a coach's clip and something you can't teach. Not trying to pick it up on the offensive end. Bay wants it one-on-one -on -one with Gillespie. And hits another fadeaway. How much fun has this matchup been today? Setting up an open three. Tap back. Boat right now. It's good. Two, it's down to a two-point game. Eddie Boat right with his second three. Great job on the hustle. Just, I mean, just hustling, obviously, but moving the basketball. And we are tied thanks to Ahmad Kaber's patience inside. The hustle have climbed all the way back. Scott back to Bay. Down the lane. Count it and the foul. Credit Charlotte Bay. He's gotten his opportunity, and he, he's shown well so far. Buchanan set up and nails it. Caver. Oh my goodness. Into the lane. Got the defense in the air and banks it in. Farrell steps back. 
Can't hit a shot to end this spurt by the hustle. Cowan uncontested works around the defense and no one was home. It's funny you say that because Nathan Peavy coaching the Stars in his first season said, you know, I haven't really been able to talk to Quinn Snyder. And the players, they're playing winning basketball. You know, there's no let me go get mine, let me get my numbers. These guys are playing. I can understand how Coach Snyder's a little busy trying to get that lineup set. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that's just really cool is that the Stars are running the Jazz system. All working for the hustle right now in the second half. In the, uh, and I, I'm going to credit the cool collectiveness of a nice take there from Bake. With Stockton mentality, the headband, and now taking the charge. <laughs> Boatwright drives Ooh. and with a tough finish. The ball on the deck and it, it, it gets busy in the paint. Played for coach Trey Meeks over at Alamania, short stint there. And now your execution is going to bring you home as we see Gillespie checking into the game right on kill. Merrill catch and shoot. That's good. Very, very tough shots. He's, he's, got that, he's got that Mamba mentality when it comes to the fourth quarters. I tell you that much. Ooh. Allen responds Ooh. with a triple of his own. The sidewinder, baby. I see you, Allen. Stockton sets up Caver. Working inside. Finds his teammate wide open and nails the runner. Terry grabs his 11th rebound. Now Merrill, great fake, and drains another three. A quality you like in every player. See why Mike Budenhoser and the Bucks are really impressed with him. Ooh. There is an and one the other way. Look back and you lose by one or two, and you look at that technical, and you're sick to your stomach. Gillespie gets the feed and the finish with the left hand. My man's basketball. getting double doubles like he's opening up an in and out franchise. His third one of the year. He's got 12 and 15. Inside, it's Allen again. They got the lead. <laughs> Gaver stutters inside, banks it in, and Memphis has its largest lead of the game with three to play. Gets a nice little kiss off the glass layup, uncontested. Oh, Gillespie sends it back. Pulls it back out. Buchanan's been high energy, man. He's been all over the floor tonight. Buchanan sinks it. A dagger with two minutes left. Trailed by as many as 16, come all the way back and snatch a win from the Stars, 104-96 the final.